Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Nick and Anna, and we've been traveling full time since 2022, exploring the world one destination at a time. If you're enjoying our travels and you want to see more, we'd absolutely love to have you along as a subscriber. Typically, we stay in places for about a month at a time. This time, while we were staying in Florence, we had the opportunity to spend a day in Rome, so we took the train to live our best Lizzie McGuire lives. Today, we'll show you what we did in Rome, as well as tips for your next trip there as well. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Rome. It's Rome is an amazing place with a history that spans over 2,500 years. 2,500 years we had to visit this place and we happened to pick the day that it rained all day. We tried not to let it get us down while we looked around the city and saw some of the sights. We were lucky enough to book time with an amazing tour with our host Roberto. We cannot emphasize it enough, if you're coming to Rome, you're going to need a guide. There is just way too much to see and too much history here. You are definitely going to need a guide, at least one, if you're going to come to Rome. Even though it was raining, we had to stop at the Trevi Fountain. This iconic fountain is famous for the tradition of tossing a coin over your shoulder into the fountain itself. This is to ensure that you make a return trip to the city. Of course, we didn't bring any coins, uh, so we just took a quick pick. After traveling through a few more photo opportunities, we had a small window of time to grab some lunch before our big tour of Vatican City. So we decided to take in a little bit of the local cuisine. Babe, out of all the things that we could have gotten around to eat, where do we decide to go? You picked McDonald's. Well, we, we're in a hurry. We're in a rush. We booked too much stuff. After McDonald's, instead of waiting around in the rain some more, we grabbed a quick Uber to our next meetup point to explore the Vatican Museums and Vatican City. Maybe you're glad we got an Uber. <laughs> So as you can see, it's raining in Rome. We're not having the best time. That being said, we're making the best of a bad situation. We're currently in the Vatican Museum. We skipped the line, which is really nice. Um, but it's supposed to rain for the rest of the day and we have a photo shoot planned. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, wish us luck. We're having a blast. <laughs> We don't have our umbrellas. Nope. <laughs> made us check our umbrellas. Rather than talking through the entire museum, we'll just share some relaxing views of what we saw. The Vatican Museum is massive. You can easily get lost in here for an entire day.
It's me? Yeah, when you don't listen. Hot tip, if you're coming here, come during the shoulder seasons like we did, because in the summer, it's even more busy than what you're seeing here. Sure, I mean, they've got enough statues, but like, there's the painting. Same. There was a strict no pictures or videos policy walking into the Sistine Chapel. They take it super seriously. We saw no less than five people get yelled at and told to delete their photos and videos. Here's a photo of what it looks like. I didn't take this, it's just from the internet, so don't worry, I didn't get in trouble, but they take it super seriously. Once we walked outside, we were greeted by the Vatican Square in St. Peter's Basilica. On the floor of the basilica is markings to show where other major churches compare size-wise to this really gigantic structure. So we're only two thirds of the way done with the day. Um, and we're finishing up right now in Vatican City. We are both extremely tired and we still have a photo shoot to do. We gotta eat and then we gotta take the train back to Florence tonight. Um, it's been a long, very wet, cold day, but we'll see. <laughs> It's raining. Tour's done. We're soaked. Uh, and we have to walk back to our umbrellas, which were checked. In our backpack. <laughs> at the start of the with tour. Our backpack, so now we're walking two blocks in the drenching rain. Love this. Dude, I don't know if this is we're gonna go do this photo shoot. I don't know. No, I'm I don't know. On it. <laughs> Look at my hair. What the hell is we this? Have big wet rats. Oh my <laughs> God. Now, I had this whole speech here talking about how we stopped here for lunch before our photo shoot, but apparently my mic decided it was just gonna play with me and not work. So look, people, it's progress, not perfection. This little bistro was about 100 meters away from the Coliseum, which was perfect because that's where we were supposed to meet up for our photo shoot. We didn't go inside the Coliseum just because we were so tired from all of the rain and walking, um, but we were able to get some pretty nice shots. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. We've got a couple of other Italy videos for you, including Cinque Terre, Pisa, a couple other places as well. So make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.